I'm holding the Russian DP-28. This right here was used by the Soviet Union. Starting in 1928, it fired the 7.62 by 54R. The R stands for rim. Now, it's fairly easy to make, and the early models had fewer than 80 parts. Uh, the main drawback of this weapon is actually the bipod. As you can see, it's a fairly flimsy bipod, and these were often broken in the field quite easily. Now, one of the unique features of this weapon is this large pan magazine that sits on the top. This typically holds 47 rounds, and the attachment is fairly easy to operate. Um, the only strange thing is you're actually grabbing a hold of the rear sight guard. And that's actually the release. Uh, I'm just going to leave this magazine off for just a minute. These are really heavy. They're slow to load. Uh, just about all of them. There's a little tab right here. And just about all of these are missing either the little leather strap um, or the little metal tab that was on this. And all it is is just a screw. You just unscrew a little bit. Now I'll take it all the way out. Just unscrew a little way and either stick another uh, leather thong on there or some other pair of or something like that. So you can go ahead and wind it. This is wound kind of like other magazine it's really difficult to do but um, you have to rotate it by pulling on that strap and pulling it and that right there will allow you to drop the rounds in one by one now the magazines are very reliable I have to admit I've never had a, a jam just on the magazine itself I've had bad ammunition but I've never had a jam based on the magazine now as I stated, this was in service from 1928 to 1960. It was used in Spanish Civil War, World War II, Korean War, Vietnam, and Cambodian Civil War. Uh, approximately 80, 800,000 of them were made, and the rate of fire is between 500 to 600 rounds per minute. Uh, effective range is about 800 meters, and the ammunition is typically right around 2,700 feet per second. This particular weapon here uh, was built from a part kit. This weapon was built by White Light Arms, and it is absolute perfection. If you cannot, this is a re-weld, and it's really hard to see because of the length, but this right here is a re-weld, and you cannot see, even up close, where this was re-weld. And this was not parkerized or duracoated, this was actually blue. But it, it just spectacular build. They did a fine job of building this and then never had any problems with it at all. It's actually quite accurate and it's a lot of fun to shoot. Uh, this is a bottom ejecting weapon. And the only problem I've seen is shooters grabbing a hold of it just like they would a regular hunting rifle with your hand right here. And being ready to fire, well, if you do that, your hand is going to get hit by the ejecting gun. I always have to remind people to keep their hand on this weird buttstock you think. Um, this is an odd design. It works very well, but it's an odd design. Uh, it has a very effective flash hider on the end, and it does have a removable barrel. Uh, this is not removable in the field, and typically most people feel that it's a lot quicker to use a hacksaw. Um, they are a pain to remove. This would only be only to be removed at the deep, uh, depot level, uh, and uh, they never carried around some sort of beer barrel or anything like that. These magazines were bad enough. Uh, three or four magazines, and you got a load. This is a, a heavy weapon, but like I said, white light arms. They built this one right here. It did a fantastic job. Uh, this is my second built by Wise Light. But if you ever have any ideas of purchasing from Wise Light, this is the kind of quality you're going to get. It's top notch. If you have any questions about the DP28, let me know and feel free to post. And don't forget to rate. Thank you very much.